Tomorrow marks 21 years since 9-11, and today a hero run honored those who lost their lives and those who went into action as America was under attack. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey has more. We try and um, get the kids involved from an early age. The Hopkins family has been participating in the Travis Mannion 9-11 Heroes 5K run for seven years. I think it's a way that we can continue to learn for it and also appreciate the efforts and what people have done for us. On your marks, get set, go! The annual race is hosted by the Travis Mannion Foundation. It attracted more than 600 runners today. I think the you know, spirit of this event, uh, if not me, then who, is something that all of us can probably take away from this. Ryan Mannion, alongside her mother, started the foundation after her brother, First Lieutenant Travis Mannion, was killed on his second tour of duty in Iraq. Well, you see all these kids here. There's so many kids out here running. They weren't around for 9 11. We need to remind them not only what took place that day, but what took place in the aftermath. 9 11, a day almost 21 years ago, that changed America forever. We not only remember the lives lost that day, but our first responders who continue to serve the days and years after. We certainly commemorate the tragedy of that day. I think what's really important to honor and remember is the way that everybody came together. As runners finished the race, Vietnam veteran Rose Gorinsky shared a special message. Take care of this country like I do. I love it with all my heart. He will soon celebrate his 100th birthday, and he says 9-11 was a day that proved our country is stronger united. Wakisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News.